Now, Joe, I think your whole story, you know, um, not to diminish it by, you know, limiting it to a few sentences, but just how you and your husband Ravi met at a protest march where you were fighting for your principles and you were trying to push what you wanted and an agenda which you believed in. And then you got married and you came to India and you have your family and both your kids, you know, I'm sure uh, grew up with someone you decided to, you know, to, to another life you decided to bring into your family. I mean, this is across geographies, this is across cultures, this is across ideologies. And that's the beauty of the human spirit and connection. And I think I think that's why you're such a an amazing individual. And I think your family, of course, is an extension of that. And I think that's the beauty of this, which I feel uh, I want to go into the next sort of point with this is we live in a world where we use the right sentences and the right statements and the right terminology to protect people while we kind of alienate them by our actions. And yours is exactly the opposite. And of course, you use the right words, but you actually have done so much because yes, it started out as a school and as an organization that could help uh, Moi Moi, but now it's helping so many more people. But this is the thing which I really believe that society needs going ahead on a smaller scale. And of course, the funds should come into the larger numbers to help you with your work. But it's your family is a perfect example. And I think Moi Moi, her memory, I think, gives your family strength to push forward. I know it's, but I don't even know. I can't even imagine how hard it was and how hard it is. But the fact that you're fighting and you're fighting for a better tomorrow for people and you're giving hope and inspiration to someone like that lady who has two children now, thanks to your story. I think these are just amazing stories which need to change these times. Yeah. But, you know, I think what I have been really understanding in the last couple of years is how much um, I have learned from disabled people, uh, starting with Moi Moi, who introduced me to the world of disability. But as I have um, grown in the field and in many ways after Moi Moi's death, because I have more time to travel, to get out there, to do things with people that I, I might have not had the time for because Moi Moi took up a lot of my time. And how how this world that we live in, which values strength and power and um, achievement in ways that may or may not be meaningful, how it misses out on the stories of people like Moi Moi. And it's not just people, Moi Moi is kind of a, a classic, disabled, vulnerable, um, fragile person kind of image. But there are so many disabled people that I have had the privilege to meet now who are vibrant, incredibly brilliant, who are making a difference in their in whatever world they're in, whether it's science or technology or uh, music or culture, art. And we're missing out on their stories by just not even realizing that they're there. And I think what Moi Moi has done for me is to open that that world and to see how much is happening, which um, doesn't get a spotlight. And, and the world is actually missing out as a result. Just um, for an example, this is a silly example, but um, I saw an ad for a Nike shoe the other day that um, was designed for disabled athletes. And they really wanted to make it, po it was an athlete, the, it was a particular athlete who didn't have hands, but was a brilliant runner. And so getting the shoes on and off was um, difficult for her. Mm -hmm. So they designed a shoe that she could take on and off without using her hands and immediately found out that everybody wanted these shoes. I mean, busy mothers wanted them their own children for themselves, the people who live in houses where they always take their shoes off when they come in to keep the place clean, so much easier. There are just a million ways that this shoe was um, useful for everybody. And that is what Moi Moi taught me, that when you think about the most vulnerable person you can imagine and plan for that person, the whole world works better. So we, you know, we have ramps that are for wheelchairs, but they're also for wheeled suitcases and for uh, moving equipment easily. And, you know, so it, it's just that yeah. design idea that being aware of people in all the different ranges that they exist makes us so much more exciting as a world. 